This is the Canon R6. The flash mount or hot shoe is loose, and since the screws are located inside, some disassembly is required. I use the double zero Phillips for every screw here. First, remove the viewfinder with two screws. The rubber cap pulls straight off, revealing three screws. Many of these screws are very tight, unlike the ones holding on the hot shoe, so press hard and turn slowly. Don't forget the focus wheel screw needs to come out too. With a flat tool, the rubber grip peels up. The, ad the adhesive is tacky and it will re-adhere afterwards. And this reveals two screws. Same thing with the side grip, but instead of taking it off all the way, just peel it up where these three screws are. I'll leave this last bottom screw though. Under the R6 sticker, there's a screw here. Under the lens, here's a corner of the grip that peels up, and this is the last screw on the front. Under the port cover, there's four screws. Now on the bottom, I'm just removing the back three and this one. With a slight pry, the port cover comes off. There's no wires connected to it. Under here, there's two more screws that hold on the back. And another small pry to release the two latches. And the back starts to come off. It helped me to pry a bit here to loosen it first. The flex cable must be removed by gently prying it up with a plastic flat tool. The viewfinder cable is more delicate, and the black clasp folds up, and to release it, pull the cable out slightly to disconnect it, and then the viewfinder is free. Now you can see the back of the hot shoe mount. It's attached with these four screws, which are all loose. In anticipation of them being loose, they added some protective plastic to prevent further damage from loose screws rattling around inside the camera housing. And I've needed to cut these slightly to give me access. Now, using a drop of Loctite 243, not permanent, but very strong, you don't need much, put a little on each screw, and tighten it back up. I repeat the process for the next four. The further two are trickier, so go slow and make sure they're screwing in straight before you crank on them.
Reassembly is just the reverse, starting with the trickiest bit, which is reconnecting the viewfinder's ribbon flex cable. It must be perfectly straight and all the way in, and then carefully fold down the black clasp. The rear connects by pressing the connector to the mount until you feel it click into place. Tuck this side under the rubber first, then snap the other side in and screw it into place. Replace the side and then the four screws. Then the four screws on the bottom. The screw under the grip here. and the one under the sticker, which sticks right back on. Pry up the hand grip again and replace the three screws, then these two on the back. Press the grip back into place. Then these four screws by the viewfinder. The eyepiece presses right on and attaches with the two screws. Test it and you're done.